I always say on this show, two or three minutes can change your life. Simon Cowell's looks have changed so drastically over the years, but recently everyone was shocked when photos of Simon came out because he looks like a completely different person. There are some bizarre reasons that might explain what happened to Simon's face and you're never going to believe what they are. When Simon first rose to fame in the US in 2002, he'd already been well known in the UK for a long time. He became pretty famous for his serious scowl. But in the last decade, Simon's scowl has become overshadowed by the rest of his facial features in an outrageous way. Earlier this year, Simon opened up about why his looks had been changing so radically. Simon revealed to The Sun that it seemed like everyone else on TV had started using different kinds of fillers. I guess Simon really wanted to keep up with his peers because his appearance soon made a crazy shift. Simon admitted that in 2016, he'd started getting Botox to look a little younger. At that time, he was 55 years old and was at a stressful, busy time in his career. I can't believe that around the same time, Simon was a judge on American Idol, America's Got Talent, and Britain's Got Talent. But it seems like Simon must have taken the Botox a little too far, because his face had started to look pretty unusual. Just in the last few years, Simon's looks have changed to the extreme. He'd seemingly gotten so many fillers that Britain's Got Talent viewers were shocked by his appearance. Simon's eyebrows looked like they were drooping, and his eyes were incredibly sunken inwards. His face was just starting to look more unreal than ever. And I think that because so many people were talking about Simon's strange facial changes, he felt the need to address the issue himself. Recently, Simon finally talked about all the work he's had done, and I can't believe everything he revealed. According to The Sun, Simon knew that he'd gone too far with the fillers. He admitted that he could barely recognize a photo of himself when he was using them the most. I can't imagine how surreal that must have felt. But injectables actually haven't been the only way Simon has tweaked his appearances in the last several years. You'll never guess what else he's tried. Simon has also opened up about a couple of other cosmetic procedures he's had done. In 2018, he had a non-surgical facelift that honestly sounds super intense. It's where bioplastic threads are sewn into the skin on the patient's face. I don't know about you, but that sounds insanely painful to me. But Simon has changed something else that's made a big difference as well. Simon admitted to having his teeth done, which explains why they were blindingly white for a while. The veneers were very noticeable on TV, which ended up being another aspect of Simon's face that viewers were curious about. But even though Simon came clean about the work he had done, I don't think everyone believed that he hadn't had any other procedures. A professional weighed in with their opinion, and it's seriously bizarre. Dr. Yoel Shahar from the Natural Look Institute spoke to Express about his opinion on Simon's procedure history. He believes that Simon might have also had his eyelids surgically changed, since the difference over time has been so drastic. I feel like Simon was pretty open about everything else, but Dr. Shahar's opinion also makes a lot of sense. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Simon has had some other type of plastic surgery but I was seriously floored by what actually made Simon realize that he needed to lay off the Botox and injectables. This sounds absolutely insane. Apparently, Simon knew that he had to make a major change when his eight-year-old son Eric had a shocking reaction to his new face. Simon claimed that Eric was in hysterics about how the fillers were starting to make his dad look, and believe it or not, Simon started to see it too. Surprisingly, Simon told the son that he looked like something out of a horror movie. I guess that's one way to put it, but either way, Simon decided to swear off fillers and Botox for good. And just in April of this year, he made a public appearance that highlighted another unbelievable change. At the Kids' Choice Awards, Simon was looking different than usual, but this time his face appeared to be more natural and full compared to how sunken and strange it was in the previous years. I couldn't believe how much more relaxed his face seemed to be, and there was an outrageous reason for that. Crazily enough, Simon revealed that he was completely filler-free. I think it's safe to say that almost everyone felt like that was the long-awaited ending to Simon's use of fillers. But that wasn't the only positive change in Simon's life. In the last few years, he's made a very impressive effort to improve his lifestyle. Simon hadn't just been relying on Botox to look younger. He was also drinking lots of water, eating healthier, and exercising. Obviously, that was great for Simon's health, but there was another result of his lifestyle change that led to some surprising speculations. Because of Simon's focus on his health, he started losing quite a lot of weight. He told The Sun that many people had asked him if he'd ever had weight loss surgery. Despite people's opinions, Simon claimed that all of his weight loss was because of his lifestyle changes. I was blown away by just how extreme his diet changes were. You're never going to believe what he revealed. According to The Sun, Simon credited several major differences in his diet to looking healthier and younger. He confessed that he stopped eating dairy, sugar, and gluten altogether. 
I feel like cutting all of that out takes some serious dedication. But that wasn't all. Simon also said that he wasn't eating much red meat anymore compared to how he used to always have hamburgers and sausages for dinner. All of those dietary changes led to an astounding difference in not just Simon's health, but his appearance as well. Simon hinted that his looks had changed so much because of his weight loss, which allegedly was a whopping 60 pounds. I do have to give him credit because he's been spotted being super active lately in pictures posted online. It takes a lot of work to make all those changes, especially with also giving up fillers and Botox completely. But even though that's what Simon had just said months ago, I'm not so sure that's still the case. Based on what was just recently posted online, I don't think Simon's filler-free claims are totally true anymore. Obviously, working out and eating more nutritional foods has kept Simon looking healthier, but that seriously can't be all he's doing. This is honestly so unexpected. On the Twitter account for Britain's Got Talent, a video was just posted that showed Simon looking a little odd. In the clip, he was encouraging people to audition for the next season of the show. But what Simon had to say was far from being the main takeaway from the video, which was seriously startling. I have to admit, something was very off about Simon's appearance, and I clearly wasn't the only one who thought so. So many other Twitter users sounded off in the video's comments, and what they had to say was shocking. One commenter claimed that Simon's face was actually concerning and not in a snarky way. They were wondering if there was a medical reason for how thin Simon seemed to be. I agree that it looked like Simon had lost even more weight than what he had mentioned to the sun. As long as Simon's weight is still healthy though, there could be an exciting explanation for any recent change. Simon recently got engaged to Lauren Silverman, his longtime girlfriend and the mother of his son. It's been rumored that the couple is planning to get married next June, so maybe Simon is trying to be in the best shape possible for the big day. But that doesn't explain everything about Simon's appearance in the Twitter video, not by a mile. The biggest difference in how Simon looked was how shiny and sloped his face was. I was honestly taken aback by how many people were calling out his facial changes in the comments. The video ended up getting deleted shortly after it was posted, and I'm guessing it's because of how cruel some of the comments were, unfortunately. Aside from the super rude remarks, it's kind of understandable why people were so shocked. It's hard not to be curious about what happened to Simon's face in such a short amount of time. Some plastic surgeons revealed what they think has caused Simon to look so unusual lately, and their theories are actually really interesting. Dr. Sarah Tongs, one of London's most well-known cosmetic surgeons, spoke to Express about Simon's appearance. Her explanation about what might have led to his face looking more downward sloping than before is pretty simple. Dr. Tongs revealed that Simon may have been focusing his Botox use on his forehead for so long that by not using equal amounts near his eyes, the skin has sagged over time. I can see how that makes sense, but another doctor has a theory about Simon's skin that also sounds incredibly possible. This is so bizarre. The same outlet also heard from Dr. Michael Bion, a Chicago plastic surgeon. Dr. Bion believed that Simon's non-surgical facelift could be why his skin and face have changed so much. Apparently, the threading facelift can do more damage than it helps. Dr. Bion claimed that it can lead to unusual signs of aging, noticeable scars, and puckering of the skin. I can't help but wonder if that's what happened in Simon's situation. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on how Simon's appearances have changed over the years? What do you think about his recent decision to go back to Botox? Let me know in the comments.